Let's go over how to do the avocado tree math. Take a minute to pause the video and read the prompt about the community garden members. When you're done, turn back on the video. Number one, calculate the total number of trees um, that the garden members will need in their orchard to meet the goal. So we're gonna take um, the amount that the garden members want to earn, which is $250 per person per year. So make sure you know the word per capita means per year. And each of the avocados will actually, uh, the trees will produce $125 each year worth of fruit. And so when we do that simple um, division, you're going to come up with two trees per person or per capita. Even if you can do this kind of math in your brain, if you're doing this on an FRQ, you need to make sure that you um, write out the problem. All right, and so in the garden, it says that the community garden members have, or the community garden has 50 members. So this is members or persons. And so our persons cancel out. And so 2 times 50 is equal to 100 trees. You'll also notice here that the dollar signs had canceled and that the persons had canceled. And so the only unit we're left with is trees. And that's great because that's what number one was asking, the number of trees. Number two, calculate the cost to buy all the avocado trees. And so in the problem, it said that the avocado saplings cost $20 per tree. And from the first problem, we discovered that the community garden needed to buy 100 trees. So now our trees cancel out and we are left with dollar sign. And that's okay because number two asks for the cost. And so the cost, 100 times 20, is 2,000. Number three, each avocado tree needs 40 liters of water per day during the dry season, which is 120 days per year, and two liters of water per day in the rainy season, which is 200 days per year. The community garden must buy water from the water agency at one cent per liter. Calculate how much it will cost per year to water each tree. So this is a two-part problem. First, we need to solve for 120 days. And it's going to take 40 liters per day for 120 days. And so our days cancel out, and we're going to end up with 4,800 liters. You can do the math in your head for this one. As long as you set up the problem, write it out, you're okay. Um, or you can do the scratch math on the side if you need to. So the first half of our question is 4,800 liters. Well, it's actually not quite the first half, first little part. And then we need to calculate the second part, so 200 days. And we didn't need this right here. And this is two liters per day because they get some rain. And that's going to be um, two times 200 and our days cancel out is going to be 400 liters. And so we're gonna add these two together and we're gonna end up with 5,200 liters of water per tree. And um, the, the, um, it was actually days of per tree in the original problems. I didn't have that and that's okay. Um, I just wanted to make sure that we knew that it was 5,200 liters per tree for the year, per year. So 5,200 liters per tree for the year. And that is multiplied by a penny per liter. So now our liters cancel out, and um, you could do this math in your head maybe, or if you needed to do it off to the side, that's fine. 
but we're going to end up with a dollar because this is our remaining unit. Um, and we're going to end up with tree per tree. So it's going to cost $52 per tree to water the trees. Going on to number four, calculate the cost of the water for all the trees each year. So we know from problem one that we needed 100 trees. And we just found out that it's going to cost $52 per tree. So now our trees cancel nicely and it's going to cost the community garden $5,200 per year to water all the trees. Number five, after subtracting the cost of water, calculate the profit that each person will make per year. So we found out um, at the top of our paper that we uh, wanted to plant two trees per person and we just found out from number four, actually from number three, um, it was $52 of um, cost to water each tree. So now we're talking about per person, so we wanted to use the answer to number three instead of number four. So now our trees cancel out and we're left with the cost per person so when we multiply this, and you might be able to do this in your head, if not, that's okay, do it off to the side. We're going to um, get $100 per person to water the trees. But it's ask, actually asking the profit. And so we found out that each person wanted to sell um, $250 of avocados and the water is going to cost $104. So when we subtract this, we end up with $146 of profit. And this is profit per person. And that is a little bit messy, so let me write it a little better for you. $146 of profit and this is per person. Number six. In another section of the community garden, some members raise chickens, not only for their eggs, but for manure to fertilize the avocado trees. Each chicken produces 50 kilograms of manure per year and the garden's chicken coop holds 25 chickens. Calculate the mass of manure produced per year by the chicken coop. So we just learned that each chicken produces 50 kilograms of poop. We would call it um, manure. So 50 grams, kilograms, and we have in our coop 25 chickens. And so I'm going to cancel chickens, and uh, when I do this math out, so again, I'm going to have to off to the side, do 50 times 25. So pause the video and do that. And then our answer comes out to be 1,250 kilograms of manure. Number seven. Manure can be worked into the soil at about two kilograms per meter squared. Calculate the area that can be fertilized by the chicken's manure. So this is all of the chicken's manure. So from our last answer, we found out that the whole coop produces this amount per year of manure. And we found out that the, um, we have a proportion there. Now, let me just talk about this real quick. So when you, it says here two kilograms per meter squared. So it's really saying this, two kilograms per meter square. And whenever you have this per, you can kind of flip them around the way you want. So it's actually perfectly acceptable for me to write the meter square at the top and the two kilograms of manure at the bottom. So you can, whenever you have something like this where it's per, like this, 
then you can flip them either way, whichever you need to make sure you can cancel. So I did it uh, up here this way because I can cancel the kilograms in the top and the bottom, and then I'm going to be left with meters squared. So I'm going to take 1250 divided by 2, and my answer is going to be 625 meters squared. Number eight, each dwarf avocado tree needs 10 meters squared of space to grow. Calculate the number of avocado trees that the manure from the chicken coop can fertilize. And so um, that's just land space because you don't want to crowd out the trees. They don't thrive very well when they're too crowded. They need root space, they need branch space. So. We found out from number seven that we have 625 meters squared of manure and each tree, so again this is a proportion, it's per tree, needs 10 meters squared of space to grow. And so now our meters squared cancels out and we are left with technically it's really 62 trees because you can't fertilize a half a tree. I guess you can fertilize half a tree. Um, often on a test, they will tell you around uh, to the nearest whole tree or around down to the nearest tree. Um, so uh, this question was a little ambiguous and that's okay for our purposes. But for a test, it will be more clear as to what to write.